I've, I've done specialty props and costume building for over 10 years. And it's something I love doing. I mean, I, I've always bragged about that I don't have to work because I love, I love what I do. Um, and even if I wasn't working in a shop or doing a freelance gig, getting paid to do it, I'd be in my garage doing it anyways. Steampunk's given me an outlet, sort of a theme and an outlet to, to focus all that creative energy. We're performers and entertainers, and everything that we build has a story behind it. Half of the people who dress steampunk say that their characters are inventors. And that seems like a really cool world to me, is where everybody's inventors. I like, I like infusing not necessarily a dystopian aesthetic on top of that, but more realism. So, you know, if these people really are inventors and, and all of that, there's going to be a little bit more grit and, and I, I guess, just realism. So I like... When I dress steampunk, I like all the fantastic technology, which may seem very utopian, but I still, you know, cover myself in soot and age my clothes and, and have little, you know, frayed ends on my cuffs and everything. So this is my handheld flame device, uh, primarily used for mummy hunting in the League of Steam. Since mummies are very dry and brittle, we can uh, burn off their wrappings and get to the source. So turn on the pilot there, propane tank. In our group, my character Krakatus, he's, he's the non-lethal weapons specialist. So, and part of that was developed because of all, sort of all the weaponry that steampunk was getting into. <clears throat> Guns seem to be abound in steampunk. And although a lot of the stuff I make is gun-like, I don't make anything that's actually, personally for the character, I don't make anything that's actually harmful um, or is technically a gun. They see everything as pieces of equipment or tools to do our job.